Hello and welcome to this special tutorial brought to you by Mac Production. Uh, I'm Hamid and first of all I'd like to begin by saying Ramadan Mubarak. At his Ramadan I decided to go ahead and uh, put out this special tutorial on how to create your own Fruzer. Yes, you can have your own image, your illustration or you know whatever you prefer to have it as a cruiser. You can have it animated or static. So static are usually the normal ones. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we're going to need. Uh, the requirements for the tutorial. We're going to need Photoshop, CS5, CS3, or CS4. Um, so you, working with CS5 is much much easier as um, the animation uh, set is being changed, you know, it's been upgraded to a more simplified version and you're going to need Exodus Cruiser Workshop 6.3 um, a higher version would do as well. So, um, you can go ahead and download this um, Exodus Cruiser Workshop from the description link. I've given you a full product key, so it's a full registered product. Um, as it's a special tutorial, so I have to go ahead and give it away. Now, I've been using this for quite a while, and it's it's a very useful <coughs> uh, program for creating cruisers. So, first of all, we'll go ahead and begin by opening up Photoshop. Go ahead and open up two images, or the images you want to animate. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I've created two pictures, so this one and this one. Go ahead and open these. Okay, there we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag this into this layer and place this on top. Now you can create your animation however you prefer it. I'm going to name this blue. I'm going to oops. I'm going to name this red. Okay. You can create animation however you prefer it in Photoshop, but mine's simply going to be a fade between red and blue. Uh, so first of all what I'm going as blue's on top, I'm gonna to go ahead and only work with blue. So we're going to be working on the opacity. So at frame two, I'm gonna bring the opacity down at frame 4 I'm going to bring the opacity up okay so if we have a look at the animation by pressing the spacebar or the play key right here main okay so this is current my animation uh, so it goes from red to blue. Now we can pause this and we can go ahead we can bring this here. This is like the workspace you want to work with so it will go back to the start. So that's all I'm going to have for my cruiser animation. I'm going to go and to go to file, save for web and devices, shortcut. There's no point in using the shortcut actually. So this will take a little bit of while depending on the length of your animation. Mine's quite short so this piece should be quick. Okay, so um, save it as a GIF as its animation format, animated format. So, looping option you want to go forever. And I think that's pretty much all. Oh, sorry, we forgot something. Go ahead and cancel this. Come back into here, create a new layer. So, sorry about this, but this is probably the most important thing. Uh, go ahead and create a rectangle, rotate it. And put it here because without this, your cruiser would you wouldn't know where the uh, the selection point is, and it's very important because you know you sometimes you do get confused. Um, so go back into file, save for weapon devices, and it's already in a GIF format. See now we have that blue. You could go ahead and design that as well. Uh, again, loop change to forever, go ahead and save this and I'm going to save it into special tutorial now I already have it saved there but as the sake of the tutorial I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this again tutorial just to prove that <clears throat> it works so now I saved, go ahead and just close all of this Okay, minimize this. 
uh, open up access through the workshop go into file new and uh, for now just create any project it doesn't really matter so because we're not going to be using it go into file and click import an image and you want to choose this animated image GIF format if you're creating a static one which is just a still image then you want to use a PNG which is right here but I'm going to use GIF for this tutorial that's an animated one okay so click OK from here and as you can see we can go ahead and close this project we don't need it so in this we're going to go into file and create animated cruiser from selection or if you create an static go on the static one I'm going to animate it okay and I'll rename this to CUR um, and the size is the best one to use is probably 96 by 96 because I don't think 128 would work it just doesn't go to that size it stays at the maximum to 96 so it's like 96 okay so after you select 96 it should show up here with the animation playing and that's pretty much all you can go ahead and fill it with these settings but I'm going to leave them as it is okay so here we are the image has loaded now you should see the animation here yeah, there's my animation the reason I put from blue to red to blue is because you want a constant a looping animation otherwise you know it kinda gets annoying when it's just you know two different images show up at once and you know it kind of buggers keeps it, it takes your attention off okay so if you go into this panel right here which would probably be uh, here um, if you go into this panel you can see this mouse icon click on that and hold it and you can move around the cruise and you should see the cruise should be should have applied okay so leave it now if we go ahead and go to file save as and your cruiser should be dot ani format I'm gonna change this to tutorial instead just to prove that it works go ahead and click save now we'll go ahead and minimize this right click go to personalize change mouse pointers or if you for some reason I think Windows Vista it's not the same thing so go on to start control panel and appearance and personalization go on to personalization or if you might have it here I don't know I haven't tried it in Windows Vista change mouse pointers and you should have it here okay now go ahead and click browse and browse for your cruiser uh, go on oh if you're interested in, to, in a Mac OS cruisers um, I've also got a collection of them go ahead and email me at mak underscore productions and uh, I'll email you them so go on to desktop um, special tutorial and which was the one I say there we go tutorial open that up you should see it here and click apply and there we go mine's currently animating obviously uh, as I'm recording it doesn't show it for some reason I think it's due to the frame rate or something so you can what you can do is you can go ahead and create um, an icon sorry a cruiser for all of these like busy and text and, and writing and all that kind of stuff and what you can do is you can go ahead and click save and you can save your own cruiser scheme so yeah that's pretty cool and you can go ahead and share it with someone else you know send it to someone else your cruiser scheme and click OK and that's pretty much all from this special tutorial um, and on Eid I will be doing another tutorial on how to create your own dark background so something like this you can see my Mac production logo here name at the bottom and then you know you can have your own skin you can have your own picture there or whatever you prefer so keep an eye out um, and I'll see you in the next video Thank you for watching and please do go ahead and comment down below, rate the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I'm Hamid from Mac Productions.